Lead more than 4,000 deaths in one day. The numbers can be numbing. And confirmed cases surged past 80 million. The death toll from COVID-19 rises by the thousands every day. Doctors are worried about a surge on top of a surge. We have to humanize numbers. That's why we Irving have. resident Rosie Davis wanted to develop this Yellow Heart Memorial in Irving. It is now on display in the Jack D. Huffman Community Building. I lost my mom. You know, she wasn't a number. She was my mother. She was a grandmother, a great grandmother. These people mattered. In mourning her mom, she also found motivation to become an advocate. She connected with the Facebook group marked by COVID after seeing its leader on a news report. They helped me elevate my mom's story. That alone has really helped me move forward. Just keeping my mom's memory alive. That led to this idea for a memorial. When I approached the city of Irving, Parks and Recreation, Scott Crosno, he was just blown away by my story. And he said, you know what, I'm going to do whatever I can to help you. We we're all moved to, to try and help her uh, to get, put this together. And I think it's something great for Irving to do for the whole community. It was just a perfect fit because we had this big lobby. It's easy to socially distance. We were just really pleased that we were able to be a part of this. Every drawing posted here represents a victim. She was 13, so that one, that gets us. The art is the product of 16-year-old Hannah Ernst of New Jersey. This all started with her grandfather. He was the very first drawing. His name is Cal. She lost her grandfather to COVID May 8th, and shortly after that, she started drawing pictures. People can also submit a victim's name online or add it themselves on a yellow heart that Rosie will add to the wall. You know, you can't let them fall into statistics. She is finding comfort in her marked by COVID community, uniting in grief and advocacy. We all talk all the time. Um, we have Zoom calls and we try to bring causes together to bring awareness tell our stories so that other people don't have to suffer like we have. There's more fallout than just burying your loved ones. We are all in the middle of probate, dealing with family who still doesn't believe in COVID or who are still gathering. Um, and we all get frustrated and that's a place for us to vent and talk. One of the most important things you can do is what these women have already done. Started to build a community where they can talk about their loved ones and feel like they're doing some kind of action towards it. They came together for a virtual memorial service streamed online. The reason that I reached out and I found my community is because I felt alone when my mom died. I didn't know where to turn. Um, no one around me had been through a COVID death and it was different. Our parents were titans. They were amazing people and it shows in each one of us because we all have this urge to build this community for for everybody else to be a part of. An angel said my place is ready. The Interfaith Alliance of Irving also hosted a prayer service for the departed, led by reps from different faith groups. And this Yellow Heart Memorial will stay up longer than first planned. The response has been huge. And we've already mapped out where we can expand the heart wall um, to another wall in this space um, so that we can keep adding hearts. It's really beautiful, um, but it's also really sad because, you know, these are our dads, our moms, our aunts, our uncles, our brothers, our sisters. I don't want my mom's death to be in vain. And all 360 plus thousand people deserve to be remembered. Rosie Davis is also looking ahead. She says she is ready to be a national advocate on COVID issues. If I can use my voice and a platform to bring awareness, then I'm going to do it. We're not done. We just started. Because they know the numbers on the news. Well, the virus claimed 4,000 American lives on Thursday. Are only part of the story. Thomas Gandy for CitySource.